What is going on, everybody? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's having a great Monday morning. The Sacramento Kings went on to sign Kent Bazemore to a one-year deal. I am pretty excited for Kent Bazemore because if you guys have been following me for a long time, uh, Kent Bazemore, I never wanted him to leave the Sacramento Kings during his first stint with uh, Coach Luke Walton's first year a couple seasons ago. And... I really am happy. I actually forgot the fact that he was still unsigned and they uh, was not uh, picked up by any other team, but it just worked out for us and it worked out for Kent himself. And it has me excited because Kent Bazemore, his first time with the Kings, he was really playing really well, especially in the second half of the season before COVID blew up and kind of put that season on pause. Uh, he was a big part of the why the Kings were, uh, you know, striving in that second half of the season. They played some of their best basketball um, in the franchise's existence the last uh, decade, especially in the second half of the season. And he was a integral part of that team uh, under Luke Walton. And an interesting fact about Kent Bazemore uh, is that uh, Mr. Ham himself, James, tweeted this out. Interesting side note on Kent Bazemore, he plays for Mike Brown in Golden State. He played with Fox, Barnes, Holmes, and Len with the Kings during his first stint. He played with Barnes in Golden State and Len and Kevin Herter in Atlanta, and in last season, he played with Monk on the Lakers. As if you guys don't know, Kent was actually a Los Angeles Laker last season. And I'm excited. I'm honestly excited. Uh, he provides a spark plug off the bench. He is definitely uh, fits in well with the depth chart that the Kings have, especially off the bench, man. Uh, you look at that wing position, it's kind of dry. It's kind of thin there, but now it's not. Um, I honestly believe that. He's going to be a, um, a key player for Coach Brown uh, off the bench and off the depth chart for the Sacramento Kings. Um, Shams did uh, tweet out that it is a one-year deal, and uh, the, the depth chart's looking great, man. Honestly speaking, I mean, you got De'Aaron Fox, you know, Davion, you got Deli as your guards. You have, you know, Kev, you have Malik Monk, you have TD, who people are just not even talking about as your uh, second string, uh, as your actual overall shooting guards. And now the small forward position, that thin position that we've been talking and preaching about, yet the Black Falcons still. You get signed a uh, Chima Moniki. We have KZ that you picked up from the Heat. And now you added Kent Bazemore at that wing position. I like it. I honestly like it. It We've added more depth, guys, at that position. And I feel that out of all the players um, – it wasn't just a, a random pickup, but like Kent Bazemore, I actually uh, didn't think that he was, I didn't think that in my head that he was still available. And the fact that he was still available and the fact that the Kings managed to sign him to a year deal, I'm cool with it. Honestly speaking, I'm cool with it, man. And then you're looking at your forwards. You got Keegan, you got Trey, and you got, uh, you know, Chemezi Metu as well. And the centers, man, Rashad Holmes. You still have Alex Lynn, who I totally forgot that, you know, he still has a year left on his deal, and uh, you still have him as a, on your roster. And you have, you know, Domanis Sabonis as well as your centers. So the Kings' depth chart and overall roster is rounding out pretty well, guys. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know your guys' thoughts about Kenton Bazemore coming back uh, to the Sacramento Kings. I really wish they would have retained him. Him and Alex Lynn, the first that they had, there. I'm glad they were able to bring back Alex Lynn this past season, and now they bring back Kenton Bazemore for another year. So... Moving forward, um, looking forward to seeing how Bays uh, is in integrated and in, on this roster and uh, fit. I think he, like I said, provides defense. He's uh, he can he, he can shoot the corner threes as well, so you can see him and view him as a three and D type of player. He's very athletic. He can get out and op he can get out in the rope and run with these guys, and um, he still got in him. He still got hops. You know, he's very flashy as well. So. I'm looking forward to seeing Kent's second step with the Sacramento Kings. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this pickup. I think it's a fantastic uh, pickup. Monty, Monty McNair has significantly improved the Sacramento Kings roster this offseason. And I think that he may not be done dealing yet. I mean, we still have a little over a month from training camp when that starts and media day and the preseason as well. It'll carry over into October. So we still have time to make significant moves. But the moves that we've made and done so far, I love it. You know, offensively and defensively, I love what Monty McNair and staff have done to this Sacramento Kings roster this uh, this summer so far. So with that being said, that's going to do it for me for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys take care. 
God bless. Have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.